Hey everyone, what's up? Time for our last tower run, huh? <laughs> That's what's going to happen now. On my on my Facebook account, I'm now down to the very last tower run uh, with fights and 130 level. And I, I just started this, and we'll continue now and see and see uh, what's basically my performance. I'll just skip now the the first files that I'm entitled to skip. And we just proceed with all this. And I hope you will enjoy this, <laughs> as it will be a definitely <laughs> the last tower run that I will be recording. I guess. <laughs> Go here for the. Oh, by the way, I already did my my uh, other tower run with the uh, with the web account. Um, I guess I can 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 go over that at the end of this video just to show the just to re the result. Um, but if I don't forget, I'll focus on this one. And this is the last chest before the first fight, and now the first fight. So, uh, been doing this for now, uh, quite fun. Uh, also fun to use this this setup because this way it gets it faster. <laughs> I suppose and um, let's see now we did have a little bit echo there let's see if I can fix that <laughs> eh. I'm hating these emulators more and more fuck man <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> it's just I mean <sighs> nothing works properly on Windows man Anyways, another fight. Exactly that. She was quite my ass. She was doing most of the damage on on uh, uh, auto mode without activating her um, special abilities, and we just activated once, and that's the the clean damage that she did. So we can see that she's um, very much more performant than the other heroes. Now let's try a different build here, not because they have Helios. I don't. I'm not afraid, but we'll try now uh, the one other uh, setup that I have involving ID and Aurora. So I think it's this one, and uh, you're supposed to have. Uh, different pets like that oh I liked so much this patch that they did the, this update that allowed us to, to, to set the pets on each uh, on, on each game mode that was so fantastic so what <laughs> no reason um let's do the same tactic but let them use the, the skills more freely <laughs> just 
try to save up the ultimates for the next fight. You can see now Aurora is doing a lot of damage, Heidi isn't doing so much. I, I know I have a uh, weak spot here with Heidi. Um, the second team is not as well built as the first team. This is uh, in opposition to my web account where um, Ishmael and Jew teams are, are quite on par. And uh, Aurora here ends up doing a lot of damage, uh, uh, usually m much more than uh, every other hero except except ya for Yasmin here. Now let's do the the um, the now the the current setup I'm doing now without without Astrot most of the time. I'm just putting Aurora in, and then I do like this. I put Celeste and and um, and Sebastian, and sometimes I put Dorian. And it's been working also interestingly <laughs> because, um, well, I guess we'll just see. <laughs> Dorian will be make the, the aura. It won't reach the. It won't reach um, Yasmin. Keep the back. <laughs> I'm finding hard to get uh, uh, a way of having Yasmin share the um, the temporary aura. This is a recurring problem uh, with my Dorian. is not that strong. We can do a counter here using using Tia, for example. Not that it matters. But silence on Tia here will will nerf a bit uh, that output of, of Orion because it will it will silence him. It will stop will prevent him from using his magic attacks often uh, while the while the while the silence is active which is like I don't know three or four seconds something like that I don't remember exactly now we'll see uh, we have uh, Marta there on, on the back and it's a bit more safe to use this combo <laughs> Let's try different run now. We'll try. So just trying to show here different tactics so you guys can learn something out of this. Hopefully, hopefully it will be useful. Uh, let's try to put uh, Dorian a bit closer to to Yasmin. So what what can we do here? We can we can put um, we can keep Sebastian. We can put um, we cannot put Celeste there. We can put Aurora and then we can add. Nope, we cannot. I. I have the impression that very few uh, heroes fit between Yasmin and and the tanks. So let's just run through some of these. Um, Ju, nope, is always on the back. Also for all those marksmen. Uh, Judge also on the back. So Luther will be on the front because it's a tank. Arachne is sadly behind Yasmin. Or not, <laughs> depends how you like the game. Uh, Ishmael will be in the front, but it's not being used in this account. Then any of these will be in the back. Uh, Galad the tank will be in the front. Jorgen also in the back, although he's a very uh, beefed up uh, support. Maya will be in the back as well. Rufus will be in the front. Dante, you would think he would be in the front, but no, he's behind Yasmin again. Uh, you would hope Alvanor could be in the front because he also blocks the the, the basic attacks, but no, he's also in the back. And Ching Mao, <laughs> why not in the front? No, she's in the back. <laughs> she's behind Yasmin again. And uh, that really leaves uh, Heidi is also in the back. Leaves really very few options, and um, I really cannot try any of these, but. 
Uh, Dresden might be might be in the front. I don't recall that. Mm, mm, actually, might not even try that. And Vary also not sure. But for sure, you can try something like uh, having uh, uh, an offensive tank like Aurora, and then a defensive tank, if you like that. Or you can put uh, Rufus, also a defensive and counter tank, to the mages. Uh, which is not exactly the output we, we the outcome we are receiving here as an adversary. Um, but if you have a highly developed Galahad or Luther, you can also put them. So basically, you are stuck. And unless there's one or more heroes that are really not aware, <laughs> probably exist. You are stuck with just putting um, with just putting uh, tanks in the front or alternatively but then you see this will be a bit uh, annoying you can you can put some some heroes in the very back and force uh, Dorian to be uh, in the in the mm, in the middle positions so for example you could put I don't really have here but Marta she's not developed so I cannot put her put her here I guess we can go and check this out maybe here in the training so just current if we would do and this is something that I get a little bit annoyed with with Dorian but I guess otherwise she would be a bit more a bit more too strong <laughs> than she already is but so you could put Marta in the back and then you could put um, a tank in the front and then you need to put some some other hero behind Dorian. Okay, you cannot put Sebastian. This will be probably overpowering <laughs> this team, and and and, and right the the aura stays here. So, but for example, you can put Thea as well. Then Dorian is, is in, in the middle. But I guess now you have three healers, so it doesn't really work very well. But another thing you could do so. But probably for this setup, you would prefer using Martha, so you have the back line a bit more defended. Um, but let's see, we can. Where is Orion? Orion? No. <laughs> it's a bit complicated, huh? To try. Heal use, exactly. And so here's something you can try to do. <laughs> this will s uh, uh, for sure create a lot of problems for um, critical teams because you, you have strong Martha which counters a lot of uh, Jew teams and even sometimes uh, Ishmael teams. You have Helios countering directly those critical hit heroes. You have uh, um, you have um, Dorian feeding the Vampire's aura to, to Helios and Yasna. And then you have Yasna. And then you have Aurora. <laughs> uh, this is probably a bit, a bit complicated uh, to, to beat on... to beat when, when they are defending guess because this could potentially to, to lead to some timeouts or are really defeating your whole team but yeah it's complicated to put Dorian here in the middle uh, next to Yasna <laughs> just to, to try to phrase that uh, the, be the best way I can I guess um, you just see here most most of these heroes will ah yeah, there's one you can put oh, okay Marcus I know there was and probably Tristan there yeah there's a few you can put uh, out there but it starts to be a bit of um, of a different team that you are you are used to I guess yeah, so most people don't have Marcus developed uh, Tristan is really recent um, so you see <laughs> the complications of this you could go with Ishmael there. Uh, I hope that was a bit also educational. Certainly having difficulty with my setup, with my heroes, to get uh, Dorian next to, to Yasna, but okay. Uh, we'll go now and try to finish this quickly. I want to prevent the remaining opposing team now going to 
saving our energy for the next fights now let's try changing things here um, also find it interesting to use this combo so basically uh, I bring another uh, fight back <laughs> So, um, Cleaver will try to pull the hero in the back. The hero in the back is no longer Dorian. So, Now we start to see another another interesting fight. Um, we have um, an heavy heavy uh, magic slash pure two damage dealers here. Um, we have Maya doing doing her flower in the middle of the, the battlefield. We have Yasmin jumping and like my Yasmin jumping and doing damage to the hero with the least armor. I think I don't recall that exactly. Um, this will likely mean that. Yasmin will target uh, which one will be probably Sebastian. I think Sebastian. I think I think it's usually like Dorian then Sebastian then she will try to counter counter no attack Heidi or Celeste. Uh, we'll put him Dorian just to demonstrate that she will probably go for anyway it's one of these two. Right. Maybe it's a bit more random than I like to understand. Um Ah okay, she this one, right? Yeah, she parallel. Yeah, maybe I'm confusing with the mobile version because these heroes are a bit different between plat platforms. But she will paralyze last enemy who attacked her for three seconds, and then attacks her, attacks the attacks the enemy from the back. So it's depending on the last hero to have attacked. So it's going to depend on armor. I think I'm confusing with mobile version. So it doesn't matter. I guess. Um, anyways, we we will go for the the other composition. The music. <laughs> Months this started to be quite quite easier or easy, um, but then every now and then there was a surprise and I had to do some some thinking to counter. Uh, but for the last weeks it's been just really quiet for me. I just do most of this auto without using much ultimate, just one or two or none. And then there's two three fights that are a bit harder, but I just activate everything and they get wiped and then the last fight is usually the easiest of the last five I guess oh my God. Last fight <laughs> would be the, you would think it would be the hardest uh, and the, 
the fight number 47 usually is a bit difficult more difficult than the last one you see um these are higher level i think than the previous ones but their their um equipment is weaker so yeah <laughs> so i would <laughs> for me you always have two three fights like close to the end around the middle and, and maybe when you are doing this for the first times uh, or you missed the last day and uh, the the close to the start there's a harder fights than the very ones at, at the end the very one at the end so we finished uh, the tower the rules are that if you get to, to team level 130, you just reach there. Team level 130 and um, you finish the tower, then the next day and afterwards you don't need to complete the tower like this anymore. You just uh, supposedly, I never tried this, it will be first time tomorrow, you just, you just go over to the tower and you can clear all the free chests or or pay for the extra chests and go up to the top without doing any single fight on the mobile version slightly different you have to be level uh, 90 I believe or 80 but I think 90 and once you get to level 90 then you do seven tower runs um, without failing and after those seven doesn't need to be um, in a row but after you, you finish seven uh, tower runs at that level or higher you can access the instant tower clear and that's it for, for Facebook I'll just pick up now the mobile version quick and um, you see here I also also finished this and I use this composition here um, frankly but much more manageable <laughs> than the Yasmin combo because this one basically I activate one of the damage dealers I activate uh, sometimes Aurora and sometimes activate um, Sebastian and like that at the current development that I am I've been able to, to finish the, the tower just like that yeah. At the at the difficult most difficult fights, I activate maybe two damage dealers or one damage dealer and a tank, or, or in this case, and maybe also Sebastian, but not all of them. And I can finish the fight and just look away <laughs> because they will do the short work themselves uh, without any any. Just you just need to activate one or two or three, depending of those heroes, and and that's it. Uh, while with the Yasmin, uh, well. She's a very manual demanding hero and you have to, to time things, you have to manage her. Uh, if she's, um, because I use Celeste, I have to, to manage her healing and you know, switch to healing, switch to, to magic attack, to, to attacking mode. And it's a, bit, it's a bit more complicated, time consuming. Hopefully uh, I will be spending less time with this um it was getting to my patience because now we also have the other the other mode uh, the um, the new mo <laughs> forgot what what's it called the new mode they added um the asgard mode and that's yet more things to do uh, uh, i'm managing like me managing i i, I see that charlie probably having much more do difficulties with this um, Charlie from Hero War Center he has like seven accounts he also does way more content than me um, and I see with three accounts one for each platform I'm it was getting to my patience already uh, for a while not not something that recent but now with the uh, Asgard mode on two accounts just aggravated that and I'm just happy that now I'm done with one mode for two accounts. So I, I mean, in essence, three accounts, but my mobile account had done the tower a long, long time ago. And uh, that was that. Um, 
Um, I'll just finish this video. So the last tower video I'll be doing, um, hopefully, <laughs> because I don't, I don't, I don't have any more to say. I had done a, a, a video in the past about what compositions you could use to 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 finish the tower, to do the tower runs every day. I'll just uh, refresh that a little bit. Y you should just do fine if you have one strong tank and preferably one tank that is useful, and then one strong damage dealer, and and then you need usually two healers, okay. And then the, the fifth hero can be whatever you want. Uh, but you ha if you have the right the right heroes, the right healers, maybe you can do fine with just one healer. So you saw that I was I was using uh, usually just Dorian uh, with my web account here. So uh, I was I was using this setup here. Ju, Ishmael, Aurora as a tank. And then Dorian as a healer, and then Smasin. Uh, this this team can can dispatch enemies very quickly. But really, if you have if you have a, a very good healer that heals a lot, that can uh, withstand attacks, then maybe you just need one healer. It just depends. Ho Dorian has advantage of uh, the advantage of being a very very good uh, at at healing when he is well well developed um, so healing directly and then he has the added extra value of healing indirectly with his vampire's aura and when he places the uh, amulet or whatever it is that he uses uh, on the enemy that he picks so this first skill the, the fountain of blood so these other two skills here they, they are direct healing uh, but this is the passive and that's the active let's say the main ultimate active because it's also acti activated automatically you cannot activate it but uh, anyways um is both a passive and a active healer and is really good at that so if you have a good a good healer usually i would say you can do this without without two healers but it's not that um it's not that easy to keep up developing your 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 heroes and you know just pour all the resources in in your your main tank and your main damage dealer and leaving the rest a bit undeveloped right <laughs> then you need <laughs> usually on that occasion to two healers but i'll just give a few a few no notices of some heroes you could use like this if you pour a, a bit of resources let's not say the main resources, but some of the resources you can see here, uh, Dorian is quietly quite behind, and T as well. But with some resources, you can do this. And some of those would be Dorian, would be Alvanar. Alvanar discovery is really uh, uh, nice to have, and uh, less on mobile, but still good on mobile, because it will block basic attacks. So it will essentially block a lot of the damage do do being done on the battlefield. And then he will also do healing and and attack the enemies. So, and he stands in the middle of the team. So usually safer than the ones on the back or on the front. Okay. So Alvanar, good pick. Dorian, yes, but you need to to watch out for who can attack him directly, like Cleaver pulling him to the front, or or Luther jumping in the back, or Dorian firing his his missiles to the back. So watch out for that uh, otherwise i mean if you, if you don't have him well developed then you, you just should put something something else there um tia can be weak but on the on the other side she's she's good to counter the mages because of the silence and celeste we talked she stays uh, around the mid front she's tough if well developed and she Heals a lot, but needs that manual load. You need to put her on healing load. That's when she heals a lot. And then you have Marta. Uh, where is my Marta? Marta here. Marta does uh, a lot of healing, and she's also considered a tank, so she can she can withstand a lot of damage if d developed enough, I suppose. 
so that's some of the options I, I would recommend um, really the manual mode is not that not not easy to to manage and maintain all all these mods so <laughs> I would recommend that for everyone but yeah Celeste is one of the best one and I'll leave you to that uh, regarding the tanks uh, for for mobile uh, version so for web version and mobile version these healers are mostly the same just oftener is uh, slightly different and and then I think if I don't re if I don't recall uh, any major difference they are mostly the same you also have Maya is all she's also a healer but she's not as a strong healer as the others she's she's also a very uh, I would put her as a um, half healer, <laughs> half damage dealer. A bit like Celeste, but Celeste you can control to just healing, you know? <laughs> now we go over to the tanks. Um, I would not recommend using tanks that hide or jump, like Looter. Where's Looter? Looter there. Or, or uh, Ziri. I think you can do really well with Corvus, but I never tried on 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 the tower. Never had uh, a well developed Corvus to try. Just at very little level. Um, Chaba. Chaba works very well on certain contexts and scenarios, including campaign, but I don't know tower. When you do the campaign, you know that the compositions are always the same on each specific fight. So you go for, I don't know, 3-5, it's always like those compositions, they never change. 2-8, another composition, but always the same. And the tower is different, it, it just keeps rotating. So, if you build Chaba as your main tank, uh, sometimes it might not be the best fit uh, on the arenas, on the guild wars, etc. But also on the tower because of that. Okay, so just mind that it's going to be great if you can, for example, let's say you remove. Let's put an example. You have uh, an enemy uh, team that is made of uh, astronauts, and then they have uh, Kark. Where's Kark? Kark here, and you remove the tank, and then Kark is exposed, so you can kill him off very quickly. That's that's great. Shabu works wonders there, but let's see a different counter, a di different composition. Imagine you remove uh, the tank, and then you leave Yasmin exposed, and this Yasmin is um. Let's let's say she's very well developed in dodge what can happen um, imagine your 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 damage dealers are for example the twins or Satori or those kind of heroes that take a long while to charge up their ultimate so you will be hitting directly Yasmin and with the dodge especially on the web version she will be building up her energy much quicker and then she will start ultimating probably faster than your team and then she will just wipe out all your team if she gets the chance so that's an example where uh, Chamba might not be the best option but other t other other tanks that will be great option on the on the tower mode it will be Aurora will be Astrod especially Aurora on the web version sh uh, web web slash Facebook version she she's just awesome and you would have Rufus also very useful when you face all those magic teams uh, wouldn't make Rufus my main tank, but if you like Rufus, is is a good a good choice. And so I would put Rufus in terms of usability uh, about the same as Chaba. So he has certain fights where he's useful, but not all fights. Whereas Aurora and Astra are a bit more universal. Uh, are very completely universal, <laughs> I would say. Um, Corvus, Corvus is really good too. I think for the most part it would be it would be a good fit. Um, just about every every fight. 
Ziri and Luton have their dangers because they, they just hide or jump. And Aurora is not really a tank, but can be used as a tank, so also also good speed, but needs a lot of development. And then we have Cleaver, which is more offensive. And we have Galahad somewhere, and Galahad is here, but he's usually easily countered, countered by Jorgen, and you will find often Jorgen on the tower, so mind that. Well, that's it. Uh, the rest really just depends on your on your um, fighting styles, damage dealer that you, you pick. Um, some damage dealers will do better uh, in the tower. Some will do really bad. Um, from my mm, from my experience in watching other people's fights and doing my own fights uh, I would place Kira, Drew, Ishmael uh, even Yasmin that I just showed there uh, I would place Dante I would place um, I'm not talking about all these supports but Nebula, Sebastian, Jorgen all, all those are useful I would place also uh, I suppose Isaac but I don't have enough knowledge with him Ching Mao also useful. I would I would place um, probably Mojo, but I don't have him developed enough, so never never will try. But Mojo likely be will likely be a good fit for a tower. Probably Maya as well. Um, but I wouldn't put Kark. I wouldn't put. Um, I wouldn't put. I don't know, Satori, probably wouldn't put Satori. Probably wouldn't be using... Um, I would use Orion because I use that in mobile version. I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> but, um, probably would not be using Astrid, but... The thing is, last time I tried her was more than a year ago and, and she received extra skin so I don't know well Phobos also very useful but he, he, he wasn't always useful <laughs> it got better um, I hope this was uh, insightful I did make this a, a much longer video than I thought but I hope you take some out of this and that you will Do like me and finish your tower as soon as you can. <laughs> uh, get to that 130 level on the web versions or 90, I believe, on the mobile version. Finish that chapter on your game and just do the instant uh, tower runs from then on and get the benefits from that and enjoy all you can from this. I'll, I'll see you around and have a good weekend. Bye-bye, take care.